Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add a commenting system onto your website. Now, the way I'm going to show it to you is through my WordPress website. So we'll be doing it via WordPress. But you can use this commenting system. It's called Discuss, D-I-S-Q-U-S. -S. You can use it with any website whatsoever. So even if you have a static HTML website, you can add this commenting system to your website. Um, some, of its, some of its features. It has a Gravatar feature, as you can see here, which gives it a nice personal touch. Um, users can add text comments as well as image comments. They can share, and also, importantly, they can upvote and downvote, like you see here. Now, it's very, very simple to install. I'll take you through the entire process here. First things first, go to discuss.com, D-I-S-Q-U-S dot com. The first thing you need to do is sign up for an account with Discuss. Uh, just click the sign up button there. You can log in with Facebook, Twitter or Google Plus or you can sign up using your email address and password. Now I already have an account so I will just log in. So once you've signed up you will enter this dashboard over here. First just go to the right hand side the top right hand side the little cog icon which is your settings click on that and click on admin cool you'll get a prompt to add a new site it will look something like this enter your site name choose a unique discuss URL so it'll be probably uh, your your blog name or your business name um, and select the category and finish your registration okay so I've already done mine mine is called Michael's travel and food so once you've signed up for discuss and you've added your new site to the platform now is the time to log into your WordPress dashboard go to plugins click on add new search for the plugin called discuss that's the one there and install now then activate the plugin once you've activated that you can scroll down and you'll see that it now has a um, configure link just under the plugin details so click on that. It may ask you to update your database. Now if it asks you that, the best thing to do first is to back up your website just in case. If you've done that, then go ahead and click upgrade. Next it will ask you to insert your discuss username and password. Now this is the username and password that you used to sign up for an account. Okay, so just enter that in here then you'll get the option to select your website now you'll remember when you signed up for discuss and added a new site these are the details that will come through here so select your uh, website so I previously selected one called Michael's travel and food and I use that as my discuss dashboard URL so once you've selected that click on next and there we go discuss has been installed on your blog continue to the moderation dashboard now I'll just open that in a new tab so there you go, you'll see some dummy data, some test data from when I was mucking around with this before. Um, the next thing you need to do is go to your blog and visit one of your blog posts. If, like me, you see that there's no comments area under your blog posts, then what you need to do is back into your WordPress dashboard go to settings and discussion the first thing you need to tick is this box here um, 
here we go allow people to post uh, comments on new articles and then go down and click save changes your comments area still probably won't appear if it does that's great the next thing to, uh, that you need to do is go to the post that you want to add a comment section to so now that I'm already logged into WordPress I can edit post directly uh, through this little area here so I'll edit that post now go to your screen options click on that arrow you'll see a little section here where you can enable the discussion module in this particular post so now if I scroll down you'll see this discussion module and you'll see it allows me to enable allowing comments so do that go up and update and now if everything went well we should be able to see the discuss system under our blog post so I'll just do a hard refresh just hold down control and F5 at the same time and that will refresh your browser and clear cache here we go we can see it loading up and beautiful there it is there is our new commenting system on our blog so um, I'm currently logged in as eMedia coach I can add an image if I wanted to etc etc now if this was a user they would be able to do the same thing um, another user can come in and upvote downvote um, so there you go you can also share posts um, so obviously when other users come in and post something you can actually reply to their posts it's actually a really really good method to start discussions on your website and eventually you'll have a uh, beautiful looking discussion area which looks something like what I showed you earlier with um, here's an example there you go you've got people commenting you've got people upvoting, rep responding, it's a nice way to build a little community on your website or blog. One other tip for you, um, I'm just going to log out of the Discuss system. So if I go to my website and refresh, There you go, I should no longer be logged in as eMedia Coach. So now I'm viewing this as a new user. And these are the options they'll have. They'll be able to post as a guest, or they'll be able to log in with either uh, Discuss, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, or sign up. So they can post as a guest anonymously, or they can sign up for Discuss. And in case you haven't got this little tick box here, I'd rather post as a guest, and if you want to enable this guest posting feature just go back into your discuss dashboard go to and I'll just need to log in again go to the admin section it should be under settings so select your particular uh, site and then scroll down and you should see an area for here we go guest commenting allow guests to comment so there you go you don't need users to sign up to discuss to be able to participate in discussions on your website or blog they can do it anonymously and any other questions please let me know in the comments below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos in the future thanks for watching catch you next time